Hello, my name is Ed Savita, and I'm an EMC test engineer at API Technologies. Today, I would like to explain the advantages of feed-through style EMI low-pass filters installed at the point of entry to a metallic enclosure. Most electronic devices are manufactured today using printed circuit boards, and therefore, most design engineers naturally want to install EMI filters on the printed circuit board. Board filters are capable of relatively high performance when the interference frequency is less than 1 MHz. However, as the frequency increases above 1 MHz, there are two physical effects that design engineers must take into account that limit the effectiveness of PC board filtering. The first effect is the self-resonant frequency of a capacitor, and the second effect is the lack of a shield to isolate the input of the filter from the output of the filter. These two physical limitations increase directly with frequency, so that by 1 GHz there is often no effective filtering at all. The self-resonant frequency of a capacitor is usually available from the capacitor manufacturer, and this is the really important part. Above the self-resonant frequency, a capacitor has effectively stopped being a capacitor and is now an inductor. A capacitor that turns into inductor at high frequencies is literally the opposite of what we need in a low-pass EMI filter. Coupling between the input and output of a PC board filter can vary dramatically in the actual installation. You will not find graphs or hard numbers on a component data sheet to quantify the coupling from the input to output, but there are basic concepts that allow us to understand the effect. We all know that radio frequencies allow for wireless transmission over significant distances. Low-powered Wi-Fi devices can easily communicate at distances up to 300 feet, and a cell phone's range is expressed in miles. Imagine how easy it is for EMI to radiate wirelessly through the air an inch or two to bypass board filtering. The key to a feed-through filter's excellent performance is the metallic enclosure into which it is mounted. For all practical purposes, a coaxial feed-through capacitor that passes a lead wire through the center of itself and whose ground completely encircles the lead wire does not have a self-resonant frequency. Feed-through capacitors simply do not turn into inductors at higher frequencies, and every leaded or surface mount capacitor does. The metallic enclosure that the feed-through is mounted to also provides all of the shielding that isolates the input from the output of the filter. In practice, especially above a gigahertz, a feed-through filter can easily have higher performance than the enclosure is capable of providing. Short of installing a mini shielded enclosure directly on a printed circuit board and installing feed-throughs onto it, there is physically no way for a board mount EMI filter to match the performance of a feed-through style EMI filter installed at the point of entry to the enclosure. 